Some of you guys are probably thinking the same thing of what I'm doing right now, but hey, it's raw and uncut. You know, I'm trying to be real with this and uh, get it going. in here tonight training late night over at Titan's gym. This one swollen monkey dude named Jay Cutler that's not too far away from me right now. I'm trying to fuck up my workout. <laughs> my name is Jay Cutler. This is my shadow. There is only one. <laughs> <laughs> I say hi to the champions. I can do more than <laughs> they all say they train harder than me. Have, they, have people not realized this by now? Oh man. Every video I watch, every guy saying, I train hard, I train hard, I train hard. So obviously, you guys will say, oh, he's just gifted, he doesn't have to train that hard. Because out of your mind, I haven't changed my ass off. She said, I make the, the muscle work. I'm using good form. I'm not worried about what everybody else thinks. Some guy the other day was like, oh yeah. This guy says he trains hard this night. I go, oh shit, man, doesn't miss one. If you have to train hard, you miss one. It ain't just a nickname, bro. If that was the case, shit, I definitely would be in, in here at midnight. I would not be in here at midnight if I was just that gifted. Oh, it just shows up for the show. They're in a pill in the world that make you look like this. If it was, everybody be doing it. Definitely ain't one to make your dumbass stay here at quarter after midnight. The reps I'm going to do is just actually use more constant tension. A lot of guys, I've seen the videos doing rows. They go so fast, but yet at the show, they pose so slow. Well, I expect to bring out the, that detail if you train so fast that the muscles aren't even, they're not even really engaged. Yeah. 
said, Darren Chow beat all those guys. And you walk into the pros with flaws. Kobe Bryant walked into the NBA with flaws. He shot four air balls in one game in the playoffs. They thought he was shit. LeBron James, same thing. Yeah. You know? They thought he was shit, right? They ain't saying that shit now. Now they take, sometimes they take Think about how LeBron James was when he first came out of high school. He was still a sick, right? But they would be like, oh yeah, but he ain't gonna do this. He ain't gonna around here. Yeah. So how crazy is it that he's elevated his game that much from that first year to 10 years later? People would have never thought that he'd be that dominant. Because they've never seen it. They've never seen it. They just don't understand. I knew him right out of high school he was gonna be good. And I don't they think they couldn't say no. There may have been two guys that said he'd be that good. And the same shit happened to me. No one would say that. All those guys, oh he'd never be Mr. Olympia. He doesn't have the whip. He doesn't have this. I beat the fucking every day. Fucking white as fuck. <laughs> so that just goes to show that no notion. I mean, it's all, it's all good, it's all good, but it's like, damn, man. All right, so now you're wrong, now what? They don't admit that they're wrong, though. If I told you that I would think that uh, the Patriots would win the Super Bowl or something and, and then they lost, I'd tell you that I was wrong. <laughs> but no one does that in our industry. <laughs> Nobody likes to be wrong. No one likes to be wrong. Oh, it was close at the Olympia. Okay, so how I get straight first? It did two years ago. And then they'll say, and then they'll say, oh yeah, because your sponsors pay for it. Really? My sponsors will pay for that shit? That don't make no sense. guys here it is an hour later it's 1 a.m. here at Titans gym here in Ohio uh, did some back and a little bit of legs um, as you can see it's they're still going hard here so but it's time for me to leave um, right right now is around 275 and you know what I did tonight was like I said just a just a workout that I would normally do fresh off a flight um, a lot of different exercises, but really just focus on making sure that I get constant tension on the muscle, uh, not going too crazy. Until I get back to Colorado, I, I guest post tomorrow night with uh, four-time Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler, and then uh, get home on Sunday, and then get back in the gym, hang out with the missus. Shout out to Jenny, my wife. Uh, she just beat breast cancer, just so I just wanted to let all you guys know that my wife and I really appreciate all your support and uh, through your letters and from flowers that were sent that um, was this amazing uh, shout out to Flex Magazine uh, David Pecker as well uh, for sending out a bouquet uh, she really enjoyed that and uh, you know come next week I'll be 
uh, doing some training at home until Wednesday, and then I go to the FIBO in uh, Cologne, Germany. Germany. So. Essentially what I'm doing right now is just trying to get some good workouts in leading up into these trips because the month of April I'm really gone the entire entire uh, month. I'll be going to uh, the Phylex right after FIBO and then shortly after that I'll be going over to uh, Slovakia actually the guest post and then May hits. I'm hitting the NPC Pittsburgh uh, Jim Mangan's event and going over to uh, Colombia and Venezuela and then the body power and then Guys, now we're at Memorial Day, and then after that, I got a couple appearances for Team Muscle Tech, uh, and now it's going over for number three, uh, the trifecta over in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena. You know, I'm trying to get that third Sandow, third in a row. No one's done it since Ronnie to get three in a row, so I'm going to try to, you know, do the unbelievable, as some people may say. But uh, I just want to say thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you guys' support. And uh, continue to watch Flex Online as we're going to do more videos with yours truly, Phil Heath, Mr. Olympia.